Okay, today is June 30th, 2019. You can see behind me the underground greenhouse. I have a special treat for you all today. I'm gonna actually take the drone up and give you a top view of the underground greenhouse. And then um, we're gonna head inside. So if you look here, you'll notice I put a little fence around the greenhouse. That's just to keep animals and people from walking over the top of it because they would just fall inside. Okay, now we're gonna head down into the greenhouse and check up on things. So you can see the tomato plants are doing really well in here and growing. Come over here to our little peach tree. It's been getting hot outside. We were 90 degrees yesterday outside, which means we'll easily get into the 100, 110 range inside the greenhouse. The new development is the orange tree here. So if you look up here, you'll see we've got some blooms. That's good news for us. And if you look right here, this was our very first one. It looks like we have a tiny, tiny orange forming there if you look really close. That's what the lines look like as well. So we're really hopeful that we are gonna get oranges this year. Once again, here's the grapefruit tree. It doesn't appear to be growing. Here's the peach tree here. Once again, I'm concerned. It's been getting so hot outside, I'm concerned this fruit on this tree might not make it. We've already had a couple of these little peaches fall off. You see they're doing good. And then this little orange tree right here is really growing well. The lemon tree, it hasn't grown this year, apparently. And then of course you come to the crooked old lime tree and it is just thriving. I don't know why or for what reason it's doing so well. And you can see here, you got this little line that just keeps growing and I've got four of them that are growing on this tree. So, and they all seem to be doing good. So we're hopeful we'll get some little lines off of this as well. Now we'll head over to the garden to show you the progress on the plants in here. Okay, you'll see the pepper plants appear to be improving finally, now that the wind has stopped beating them up every day. If you look right here, you've got the two pumpkin plants. They seem like they're doing really well. And then you have the watermelon plants. Don't look like they're going to do much this year. I'm guessing they won't grow quick enough to actually produce anything. Then you have the zucchini and the spaghetti squash over there. They seem like they're getting a little bit bigger and doing a little bit better. I'm hopeful we'll actually get fruit out of these this year. And then of course there is the sunflower. You can see the tomato plants are growing. I put a rock there to keep that one straight. It kept tipping over. I got those two guys there. And then this one here is looking really good. And then you have the two spaghetti squash plants over here. I don't think they're gonna do anything this year. The walking onions getting tall. And then you can see we finally thinned out the rhubarb. We actually made some rhubarb punch this week. And then you can see the carrots are growing. And then if you look at the strawberry plants, they're all doing great. And you can see we're actually getting some strawberries here. So yum, yum. That's it for the update on the plants. The last thing I want to show you is our little tadpoles and our little frog. One of them has turned into a frog already, an early bloomer. So I'll show you some. We're actually going to feed him some ants today, so I'll show you some of that footage as well. Okay, checking in on the progress of the tadpoles. You can see right here, we've got several tadpoles that are very close to becoming toads. Got two more right here, and then you have right here our early bloomer. He's already a toad. He's only one. Wait for more friends, but as you see here, we got a lot of tadpoles. There should be about 40 in here, but you can see a lot of them are really close to becoming toads. Getting big legs, some of them are getting arms. We threw in some lettuce in here. They love lettuce. They also love fish food. Yeah, look at this guy right here. He's super close. Got little arms and everything.
Then we've got about another 40 in here. These were the smaller ones. We wanted to keep them separated from the big ones so they didn't get eaten. But none of these guys have legs yet. See this our little buddy here? He's the first tadpole to become a frog. See how tiny he is. This is my finger. It's resting on.